Hello, everyone. This is From Milwaukee to Nashville. I'm Daniel Goodwell, and over there is John Landowski. How are you doing, John? Hey, good. Early morning game. I have a pounding headache. 8,536, 7. Uh, you can put some teachers in there, but screaming children. Enough said. <laughs> mm -hmm. Love school day games, though, because guess what? Those kids go home and go, we had so much fun. Mommy, daddy, take us to a game. Right. <laughs> or at least that's what you hope. Um, If you're the organization hosting it. Um, the Admiral's coming in riding a six-game win streak, and the Wolves are win one, lose two, win one, lose two. It's kind of like watching the Preds. Sorry, I had to throw the shade there where shade is needed. Um, as far as I know, the Preds lost four to one. I fell asleep before that game. Five to one. Five to one. Yep. You don't, you're not helping. <laughs> uh. I tried to ease the pain, but no. Um, our show is brought to you by the wonderful folks at Hockey Locker Trio 2 West Side Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. You can call them at 414-800-7585 or visit their website at HockeyLockerMilwaukee.com. All righty. And at this portion of the show, I turn our, my, everything over to my co-host, John. All right, so shots on goal for the game. Milwaukee outshot Chicago 19-9 to in the first period. In the second period, they outshot Chicago 12-10. to In the third period, they outshot Chicago 11-4 to for a total of outshooting Chicago 42-23. to Now, um, on the power play, Chicago went 0 for 1. With eight minutes, four infractions, Milwaukee goes 0 for 4 with two minutes, one infraction. Sorry about that. Had an incoming. <laughs> All righty. Um, scoring in the first, uh, extending his scoring streak to seven games is Marcus Derby with his third with an assist from Keaton Thompson. No, not Keenan Thompson. You know, it's knuckle puck time. Keaton Thompson. Mm -hmm. You know, um, Yusuf Parson with his seventh already. Oh. All righty. And uh, then Oliver Cooper scores his first with an assist from Max LaJoy, his third, and Blake Murray. That was for the Wolves at the 10-16 mark. All right, second period was, well, where almost all the scoring was. <laughs> um, at the 101 mark, Chicago gets on the board for Malty Stromwell, assisted by Blake Murray. That's Stromwell's second, Murray's third. At 124, the Admirals um, score again from Tommy Novak, his third, and assisted by Luke Evangelista, his seventh, and Adam Willsby, his third. At the 824 mark, Blake Murray scores for Chicago. His first assisted by Malty Stromwall, his second, and Josh Melnick, his fifth. At the 912 mark, the Admirals get on the board from Yusuf Parson and his second, assisted by Marcus Nermi, his seventh, and Roland McCown, his fourth. At the 1153 mark, Noel Gunler gets his first of the season for Chicago, assisted by Max Lahore. Lajor, Lahore, I, Lajor, I'm sorry, Lajor, um, his fourth, at the fourteen thirty two mark, Vas Vasily, oh geez, Vasily, oh, Vasily Panamara, <laughs> okay, <laughs> um, was an Vasily. assist from Chuka Tuscola, because those are some hard names there. They are, <laughs> um. Your three stars of the game, uh, third star of the game was uh, Zachary Sachenko, who stopped 39 of 42 shots. The Admiral did pepper the net quite a bit in this game. Yeah. Uh, they do fall short. It looked like um, Chicago did a great job of scouting, as the Admirals have already beat them twice, so they're kind of going, let's not make it three, please. Right. So they had a motive in this to come out and actually get, you know, just get a win. Um, you know, um, the Admirals and the Wolves over the last three years or over the last five seasons are 50-50 on their wins. So 
Um, it's actually very close. Even though the Admirals only won three games last year, they're still 50-50. So um, with the first start of the game being Yusuf Parson in with a goal and an assist, uh, much to Malty Strumwell's uh, account, I believe Blake Murray should have got first star with two assists and a goal for the Wolves. No offense to our players. And then for the Admirals was Yaroslav Askarov. He stopped 18 of 23. Um, I understand running Askarov as much as they have lately. Um, but this, the whole team came out flat. So let's welcome my crap list back. All right, Kiefer Sherwood, John Leonard, uh, Philip Thomas now all of you were minus four. So there's your bad day list. Um, also, Spencer Statsny for giving up one of the worst plays I'd ever... Or I don't think it was Statsny. It was uh, Keaton Thompson was out there for that one. And left on his freaking island. Um, so uh, that's that. We will see you guys tomorrow with the Preds and Avalanche. Um, thank you guys for watching. This has been from Milwaukee to Nashville. I'm Daniel Goodemo, and that's Dabludowski. <laughs>